welcome to the Jumbo Athletes of the Week feature. I'm Paul Sweeney, Director of Athletic Communications. This is where we meet the student athletes at Tufts who have performed exceptionally during the past week. And today we are pleased to be joined by junior shortstop Nate Bazella from the Tufts baseball team and junior distance runner Danielle Page from the women's track and field team. First, we're gonna be joined by Nate. He hit 500 for the Jumbos in a weekend series against Colby and finished with 10 runs batted in and scored five runs. Nate, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. So last year, Nate, baseball and softball were the only two teams at Tufts that did not compete at all. And I'm just wondering first off how great it was to be out there competing again these last couple of weeks. Yeah, having last season canceled was heartbreak for all of us, uh, especially the seniors that graduated. But the feeling of finally being back out on the field, my teammates representing Tufts baseball is, is actually indescribable. Like you said, we did not get to compete at all last season, so everyone was hungry and ready to play. Uh, we did not know what the season was going to look like, but once we were awarded the 16 games, we locked in with a goal set in mind. So given that the team hadn't played competitively in, in two years, tell us a little bit about how you've stayed sharp as a group when the time came to return to play. We came in with the mindset that we were gonna play some form of baseball this spring. Uh, we didn't know what it was gonna look like, uh, but because we did not get to play a game last year, that meant that before the start of this season, all of the freshmen and the sophomores on the team have never played a collegiate baseball game. Ever since the announcement to play, everyone has been working really hard all the time to be the best they can, and we all push each other. Whether that be at practice, in the weight room, or doing individual work, the whole team has been fully invested in giving everything we have. We initially had a meeting about what we wanted to accomplish this season and how we were gonna do that. And since then, we have been doing everything we can at all times to continue pushing towards our end goal. As I said at the beginning, you hit 500 for the weekend with 10 RBI, including five and one game here on Saturday at Huskins Field. You're a new starter on the squad. What's been the key for you so far in 2021? Yeah, so I had back surgery back in this December, so like four months ago. So I did not know if I was even going to be play this spring. So the key for me has easily been my teammates. They motivate me every single day and make it easy to give everything I have, even when I'm not feeling my best. And in regards to this weekend, I was just fortunate to come up in situations with men on base. My teammates did the hard part of getting on and getting in scoring position. I was just lucky enough to come up to the plate to knock them in. But the great thing with this team and about this team is that if I did not do the job and get them in, then I know the next guy behind me or behind them would have done the same thing. Lastly, can you tell us a little bit about what you're doing academically at Tufts and what else you do off the field? Yeah, here at Tufts, I'm a quantitative economics major, minoring in both finance and entrepreneurship. On campus, I'm in multiple clubs uh, like Tufts Finance Group and to meet at Tufts. And on the weekends before the season started, I was packing food for underserved communities through, a, through an organization called Building Audacity. And I'm very excited to continue with that once the uh, season is over. Well, thank you very much for joining us, Nate, and congratulations on your achievement. Thank you again for having me. It was a pleasure. And now we're gonna bring in Danielle Page, a junior on the women's track and field team who ran the number one time in the country for the 10,000 meters on Saturday at Connecticut College a 3506.38 mark. It's the number two all-time time at Tufts. Danielle, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. So this was your first race since February, 2020, and you were able to run this incredible time. How had you been preparing? Did you surprise yourself at all? Um, I mean, we had just been staying the course, sticking through normal training blocks as we had been, despite not having a season. Um, in cross country and in the spring of last year and in the winter of this year. We've just been keeping up with our normal training, um, getting in some good mileage and some good workouts, uh, knowing that we wanted to be prepared when we did have a season. And I think it definitely paid off. Um, I think I surprised myself a little bit. I definitely think that, like, I thought I was capable of this, but I didn't expect it to come out the first race of the season. And it definitely makes me excited for the future. Now, due to COVID safety, you needed to run the race while fully masked. 
Can you tell us what that was like? Did it limit you in any way? Just tell us how the race went overall. Running with the mask is definitely interesting. Um, very sweaty uh, and it did slip down at a couple points. And so you're trying to readjust while being in mid race to keep everybody safe. Um, but I mean, I like to think that it didn't affect me all that much given, you know, the performance that we were all able to put out on Saturday. Um, but racing with a mask is definitely a different experience and I am excited to be able to race without one, hopefully once everybody's vaccinated and it's all safe. So as you referenced, there were three nationally ranked Tufts runners in that race, along with teammates Megan Davis and Sarah Sandlow. Can you talk a little bit about the three of you and how you've all worked together so far this season leading to each other's success? Yeah, so um, Megan and Sarah had actually never run a 10K on the track before. This was their first track 10K, which makes uh, their performance on Saturday even, even more impressive. Um, Megan and I have been training partners pretty much since um, day one. And as we've gotten back into doing more 10K workouts, Sarah has been able to join us, which has been great. And I'd say we're a, we're a pretty strong group this morning. Right before this, we were all doing a track workout together at, at 8 a.m., um, getting it done. And it's just a, it's a really good group. We're all really supportive of each other, and we have a lot of fun um, after after each one of us kind of crossed the line, we were running across the field trying to scream and cheer for the next one of us that was coming in. Um, and it was it was really nice whenever um, I would pass one of them in the race, kind of giving them a little word of encouragement, you know, that I could squeeze out between the breathing and the mask. Um, but it's a very, it's a great training group and I can't wait to see what they do given the fact that this was their first performance. I think they're gonna improve way, way beyond this. Lastly, can you tell us about what you have going on academically right now and off the track as well? Yeah, so um, academically, you know, coming into coming into finals of junior year. So it's a it's a big push. Um, but, you know, things are all in all going OK, looking to pursue grad school. So doing a little bit of investigating on that front and getting in contact with some coaches and some professors. Um, and then I work part time at Marathon Sports in Cambridge. So balancing athletics and school and uh, work gets to be a lot sometimes, but um, managing all right. Uh, yeah, all in all things are things are going pretty well. Well, thank you very much, Danielle, and congrats again on your achievement. Thank you, Paul. This has been the Jumbo Athletes of the Week feature. Thank you for watching. We'll see you again next week.